Morning guys, YouTube people, world. Anywho, um, see I got the truck back in. Got the bed just sitting on there. I gotta do a lot of cutting and stuff. So, bed has to come down about, uh, I wanna say about three more inches. So, I will have to tub it. And do some stuff in here. So I'm probably going to have to flare this step out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, fun. So as you can see, I had to plasma cut the body mount off. Um... I do a lot of stuff already. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Plasma cut the back of the frame off. Here, here. Obviously, I'll have to grind all that junk. Plasma cut this off. So that'll fit. I'll probably just take those bolts and flip them so that the stud is over here. Same on this side. And then I'll have to tub it, have to cut in, do a little mini tub right here. And uh, yeah, I think the bed's going to be more work than I even want to do, than I even want to mess with. But is what it is. As you can see, sitting on the tires. So it's going to be tucked. The rear wheels are, are going to be tucked in here quite a bit. So as you can imagine the wheel, so this has to come down about another two inches, three inches. So the wheel, this fender is going to be down in here, or the fender, I guess you can call it a fender, bedside. So I ended up taking the steps off as you can see. So it kind of looks a little weird. I don't know if you guys saw the floor pan for the four-wheel drive is in. I did pick up some steel. Some flat steel. So I got this piece. Six sixteen gauge. This stuff's expensive, man. So I think I paid like 30 bucks for this 24 by 24 and like 6 bucks a piece for those. Ended up getting more bolts. Some other stuff. Um, the bolts, 6 inch bolts. Man, that's loud. 6 inch by half inch for the front. I ended up getting four of them. I should have got more, but whatever. And then uh, some clear hose, because I got another project I got to do, which is this right here. So this is a, if this bed will come down. Mm, better not. Anyway, so this is a master cylinder from freaking Napa. Those guys are just as bad and just as dumb as AutoZone. Figured I'd go to Napa because they figured they'd be a little bit smarter. But of course, nope, they're not. So I ordered a master cylinder and rear brake shoes for her car because her e-brake's really loose. And as you can see, those are not Napa's. Because Napa, I ordered these online. They told me yesterday, well, I called them yesterday and said, hey, just whatever. Asked them if my parts were in. Dude said, yeah, your parts are in. And I said, it's a master cylinder and some brake shoes. And he goes, yeah, the brake shoes and the master cylinder are here. Okay, cool. Go in this morning. Went to go pick them up. And, uh, yeah. And they only had uh, the master cylinder. And they said the brake, the brake shoes 
were at some other store. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't order them to another store. And he's like, well, that's how we do it. We, I guess they drop parts at one store, and then those people from that store go to another store. I don't really know. I don't really care. Uh, guys just, they were just big old dumb idiots in there. That's all I got to say. Um, and they didn't have the, they didn't have the shoes, so. Whatever it is, what it is. Uh, so I went to AutoZone and they had the shoes. Well, the first thing I was like, hey, can I need some rear brake shoes? She looks it up. She goes, your car don't have rear brake shoes. I was like, all right. And she goes, don't you, don't you mean rotors? And I was like, no. Try emergency brake shoes because I didn't want to argue. But So she was just like, well, it doesn't have any. I said, can you just type in emergency brake shoes? So she typed in emergency brake shoes and, ooh, what do you know? They were there. Anyway, whatever. I guess I should have told her that to begin with. I didn't. Whatever. My fault. So, I went to the swap meet this morning. And bought some tools. Bought a uh, snap-on half-inch uh, pipe. I guess we can call it a pipe crow's foot snap on 19 millimeter. This will come in really handy when I'm doing uh, injection stuff for the dodges. Um, I bought so I need a little little crescent wrench. It's a Klein Klein crescent wrench. So and I bought so basically I got. A full set, three eighths, seven sixteenths. All backwards. So that's all. Bear with me here. So three eighths, seven sixteenths, half inch, nine sixteenths, five eighths, eleven sixteenths, three quarter, and seven eighths. Uh, I guess they're line wrenches. I guess you can call them. And then this is all I could find for the metric was 15 and 17 and 19 and 21 so and I found an 8 millimeter press one because mine is over here broken so as you can see mine's broke did and I'm too lazy to go back to bring it back to Sears because I don't even know if Sears is open anymore so anyway I got those this and I think this and this for 20 bucks sorry no I got that for 20 bucks and then got these wrenches for 10 bucks so anyway scored so what the brake line or sorry what this hose is for is for I'm gonna bleed the brakes so I need some brake line or that line stuff I guess you could say so, anyway, rambling on. Uh, yeah, so basically just killing time, waiting and hoping those parts were going to be in, and sure enough, uh, they still were not in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to call me back. Uh, and then I'm just going to keep telling them, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be there. And I'll never show up. Because they don't know how to do their job, I'll just let them keep doing their job. So, anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, I gotta do the brake master cylinder on her car. Show you real quick. Hopefully, it's easy-ish. Um, let's see. It's right here, so I'll have to take this bar off again. I think this bar's been off more than anything so I don't know if you can see down in there or not but anyway it's leaking let me just grab a, a flashlight real quick oh what do you know I got all of these I think this is my oldest one because they have the those old things so, I don't know if you could see down there. It's leaking pretty good. 
I mean, I wouldn't say pretty good, but... Let's see. Maybe come in here. As you can see, there you go. It's all wet. So, I'm going to get started on this and start doing all that. So, maybe, maybe I'll do a video of it. I don't know. Why not? Alright, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking in with any of all these stupid projects I always have. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, comment below if you got questions. Subscribe. Check out my boy One and Glenn. Watch the previous video. Alright guys, later.